Welcome to My Mastery Journey Timeline, Full Sail University Entertainment Business Sports Management MS program. In our first class, Mastery, Personal Development and Leadership, we're learning about obtaining goals and having our own path to mastery. First goal I have in this class is to learn about strategies and attaining mastery. The tactic for that is I'm going to read Mastery by Robert Greene. It's a book for the class. It, it helps with every goal I've had in the class. Second goal is to remain motivated in reaching my long-term goals. For that, I'm going to read Succeed for Yourself, Unlock Your Potential for Success and Happiness by Richard Denny. Third goal is to research the path to mastery for someone in my field. Tactic is to use full cell library databases and outside resources. Our second class was, is going gonna, is gonna to be executive leadership. The first goal is examine and learn about different leadership styles. The tactic here is to read Leadership in the Creative Industries, Principles and Practice by Karen Malia. Second goal is to begin to consider a mentor for my mastery journey. Tactic is to grow my personal learning network and speak to those that I already know in the field. Third goal is to learn about successful organizational change. Tactic here is to read Iacocca, an autobiography by Lee Iacocca and William Novak. Our next class will be project and team management. First goal I have is to learn about successful group dynamics. Tactic here is I'm going to watch the YouTube video, Understanding Group Dynamics. Second goal is to learn more about giving and receiving constructive criticism. Tactic here is to read Feedback Toolkit by Rick Marr. Third goal is to meet with potential business partners so we can start introducing ideas. The tactic is to set meeting dates in advance. We've already actually met a few times and we're going to continue to do so throughout the process of my program. Next class is Business Storytelling and Brand Development. First goal is to learn about successful entrepreneurs and their strategies in building their brand. Tactic here is to use Entrepreneur subscription from the Full Cell Library EBSCO host Flipster database. Second goal is to start research on building a personal brand via social media. Here I'm going to watch a LinkedIn learning video called Learning Personal Branding. Third goal is to meet and speak with uh, my potential business partners about my research uh, into branding our business. Tactic here is to set meetings in advance. Next class is Entertainment Business Finance. First goal is to research effective financial skills in business. The tactic here is to use class resources. Second goal is to research financially funding a small business. Tactic here is to read Financing Small Businesses from Venture Capital to Crowdfunding by Hirsu Mahela. Third goal is to meet with and speak to my potential business partners about the financing involved in our business and the strategies for initial startup and getting the equipment that we're going to need. Uh, tactic here is again setting meetings in advance. Next class is Digital Marketing. Uh, here, my first goal is to continue to build my personal brand via social media. Tactic is I'm going to watch the LinkedIn learning video, Learning Personal Branding. Again, I'm going to keep going. It's a great, it's a great resource for that, so it's going to come up a few times in my program. Goal, second goal is to learn about effective marketing skills for business. Tactic here is to use class resources. Third goal, explore successful marketing campaigns by companies. Uh, the tactic here is to read 11 companies that are killing it through their digital marketing campaigns by Eric Ciu. Next class is negotiation and deal making. First goal is to research negotiating strategies. The tactic is to read 99 negotiating strategies, tips, tactics, and techniques used by Wall Street's toughest deal makers by David Rosen. Second goal, get familiar with deal memos and contracts used during negotiation. Uh, tactic is to use class resources because we are going to learn about that. Uh, third goal, meet with potential business partners to speak about my progress and possible negotiations on merchandise and sponsorship deals. Tactic is to set our meeting in advance. Sports management and operations is our next class. 
first goal is research business models pertaining to youth sports recreation leagues. Tactic here is to conduct research on, an, on a National Academy of Athletics. It's a company, they have a great website that goes that has a, some business models for youth sports uh, leagues. Uh, second goal is to speak with Roy Bova. He's the president of Class Athlete Incorporated to get firsthand knowledge of running a youth sports league. He does that locally here. He's a, he'd be a good resource. Tactic is to schedule a meeting with him in advance. Third goal, research sports management practices and operations for a pro sports league. With this, I'll use class resources. Next is legal issues in sports. First goal is research current legal issues that are affecting sports. For this, I'm going to read key sports law developments to watch in 2019 by Cameron Miller. Second goal is to research how legal issues are affected by the digital world. For this, I can use class resources. And the final goal, research the legalities involved with sports marketing and sponsorship deals. Again, I can use class resources for that. Next class is sports marketing and sponsorship deals. First goal is to look at marketing strategies at the collegiate football level. Tactic is um, to research sports marketing association, a company that again has a website that delves deep into that stuff, so it's going to be a good resource. Next, I'd like to meet with Roy Bova again, uh, president of class athlete, about how the marketing and sponsorship works for his youth sports league. Uh, tactic is to set up a meeting in advance. Third goal is to research the framework for my business plan thesis. Uh, that'll be coming up quickly af after this class, so I want to use all the program resources that I've learned so far. Next class is business plan development. It's the one right before the final class. Uh, first goal is uh, just as in my third class, I want to review giving and receiving successful constructive criticism. Um, Part of our this class will be uh, students reviewing each other's business plan thesis and uh, giving feedback about that. So I'm going to read uh, a review again and read Feedback Toolkit by Rick Marr. Second goal is continue to research the framework for my business plan thesis. Uh, tactic is I'm going to use the degree programs that I've learned so far. Um, third goal is to get fully prepared for the final class. Tactic here is I'm going to go over everything with a fine tooth comb, anything that I feel I'm lacking or I need to work on to get prepared for the final presentation. And we're in the final class here, final project, business plan. Uh, my first goal is I want to present very well for this class. Um, so I'm going to watch LinkedIn Learning video, Master Confident Presentations. Second goal is to begin the process of building a business brand for my own. Uh, which is part of this whole process, uh, but continue to build that. I can use all the program resources for that tactic. And the final goal in this class, meet with my potential business partners to present my business plan thesis so they can see all that I've done. Uh, and again, set a meeting in advance for that. So some of the industry leaders that I look up to, uh, that I hope to one day work with uh, or be mentored by, uh, Bill Moose, Athletic Director at University of Nebraska. Um, Daniel J. White, or Danny White, he's the Vice President and Director of Athletics at uh, UCF, University of Central Florida. Uh, Andy Din, he is um, founder and CEO of SoloMid. It's an e-gaming private company where they have teams. Um, Esports is becoming a huge thing. The potential is big time in the sports world, so I'd like to keep him in there. Uh, Alex Leto, he is the CEO of Orlando City Soccer Club. Uh, you got Roy, Roy Bova, who I brought up before. He's a local youth sports rec uh, league owner. Uh, and Eric Anders Lang, founder and editor-in-chief of Random Golf Club and Lang Creative. He's a content creator, um, mostly with golf stuff, but I also have a desire to create content sports-related, so he's somebody that I definitely look up to in that realm. Some of the clubs and organizations that I'm going to follow and be a part of uh, are the NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Uh, it's the governing body of all any all collegiate sports. Um, the North American Society for Sport Management and Sports Business Journal, 
they're a little different, but basically they cover everything within uh, the sporting world. Uh, anything from, you know, legal to just just hearing fun stuff about athletes. So they cover everything that you can imagine. Um, they both are a membership deal, so it's something I'll definitely get into. And finally, working sports is one of the best job boards I've seen in my research uh, to get into the field. Uh, and once you're in the field as well, um, jobs everywhere on that site. My personal learning network. Um, so I have Roy Bova. He's going to be the good local guy for eSports leagues. Danny White uh, from UCF, the director of athletics. Bill Moose, director of athletics at Nebraska. Eric Anders Lang, the content creator, founder, and editor-in-chief of Random Golf Club and Lang Creative. Alex Laytow, uh, CEO of Orlando City Soccer Club. Andy Den, again, uh, founder and CEO of Team Solomid. Candace Parsons, she works uh, as an assistant director, uh, athletic events and facility operations at Wake Forest. I personally know her. She's going to be a good person to talk to. And Nicolette Hopp, she's the director of student welfare at, and development at UCF Athletic Association. Uh, again, some of the companies I'll follow and, and be a part of, and they're going to be in my learning network, are the NCAA, Class Athlete, the NASSM, Sports Business Journal, Work in Sports, University of Central Florida Athletic Association, University of Nebraska Athletic Association, Orlando Soccer Club, and Random Golf Club. So within the Full Sail community, in order to keep in touch uh, with students and instructors, uh, I'm looking to join the Sports Business Leadership Association. That's the closest, uh, that's the closest uh, club that uh, aligns with what I want to do. Then we have Cyber Sailors. Uh, I'm going to keep in touch with people through the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm, I'm currently following the Entertainment Business Masters program. Uh, career development I'll definitely keep in touch with. And then the Fortress Support Force is uh, anybody that wants to join that, students, faculty, it's to help with marketing promotions and things like that for the Armada, which is the e-sports team at Full Sail. So mentor qualities, uh, what I would like is uh, those qualities to be that they're very knowledgeable, that they're organized, that they're reliable, they're an effective communicator, written and, and uh, orally, uh, nurturing, and that I want them to, to be there. I want them to want to, to, to mentor, um, pr be prepared, and be dedicated. So a quick timeline of the 12 months for this program is the first is mastery, leadership, and personal development. In there, I'm going to learn strategies to assist on my path to mastery, um, long-term goal setting. Um, second class executive leadership, I'm going to learn strategies to become an effective leader. Project and team management is the third. I will learn how to collaborate with a group for a common goal in project creation. Four is business storytelling and brand development. I will learn how to build a strong business presence through branding strategies and storytelling principles. Five is entertainment business finance. I'll learn about financial principles used in business creation. Six is digital marketing. I'm going to learn about effective digital marketing plans for businesses. Seven is negotiation and deal making. I'm going to learn how to grow a business through effective negotiation and deal making strategies. Eight is sports management and operations. I will learn effective management uh, and operation strategies involved in the sports world and create a sports management plan for my business plan thesis. Nine is legal issues in sports. I'm going to learn how changes in society and technology have impact have an impact on the legalities involved in the sports world. Tenth class, sports marketing and sponsorship sales. Uh, I will learn effective strategies in sports marketing and create a sports marketing plan for my business plan thesis. 11th class is business plan development. I will create the framework for a business plan using skills learned throughout the program. And finally, the final class, the 12th class, is final project business plan. I'm gonna, I will be presenting my business plan thesis using program skills and strategies as I've learned the whole time.
let you browse through my references. Thank you for listening.